Hello everyone, this is just a very quick video on our new DC to DC charger. Um, it works um, on vehicles with smart alternators um, as well as vehicles without, so it can go on older vehicles if you want it to. Um, this one charges at 20 amps and also um, it has a solar input as well, so it can regulate between your solar charge and the charge from your alternator to perfectly smart charge your leisure battery. I'm going to show you quickly how to fit it and, um, and do a couple of uh, voltage tests so you can see it working. Right, here we are in the van now. This is our box and I'll show you what you get. You get an instruction manual here and then you get the actual um, charger here, the smart charger. It comes all sort of all built and it has a button on the front. You can select which battery type you want to be charging to, um, so it can intelligently uh, charge it. And um, it's basically got four cables um, on here. And I suggest you get some of these. These are um, connectors with um, solder in them, but you can just use them with a heat gun, if you can see that. And also these bits here, they're blue, red, yellow, depending on what size cable you've got, but they also create a waterproof seal. So um, get a set of those. What I've done today is I've just put a couple of spade terminals on so I can get the multimeter in to show you it working, but actually it'd be better if you have those connect those um, soldered connector joints going right the way through to your, um, from your uh, starter battery right the way through to the leisure battery. So I'll just show you it being connected up now and then we'll do some voltage tests. Right, here we are. Um, it's all connected up now and I've got the voltmeter here. Unfortunately, this leisure battery is actually pretty much fully charged, um, but it will show you um, it's starting to charge and then realize that it's fully charged and it will tell you on a light on the front that it's fully charged. It either says charging or fully charged. It will have a power on light as soon as you start the engine and it, you can also press this button to um to select which battery type you've got. So this one's gonna be a lead acid one. Um, and then um, the charger will sense um, how charged your battery is and how much um, uh, how much it needs to be charged and at what rate. And then once it's fully charged, obviously it will just sort of maintain that. Um, so we'll start the, um, start the engine. You should see the voltage go up and then it, um, it will say it's fully charged and then when we turn the ignition off after about a minute once all the power um, finishes sort of draining from the alternator and the system this will sense that and then it will click off so you absolutely know that if um, if you're draining your leisure battery while you're parked that it's not going to be draining your starter battery so let's just start it up now there we go you can see that it's charging now and the voltage is at 14.21. Now it's saying it's already sensed that it's fully charged. So it's got the green light saying it's fully charged and the voltage is dropping down. If I turn the engine off now, what you'll see is that in, obviously once you've parked, you know, you've parked up, your battery's fully charged while you're driving to your campsite, for instance. What will happen is once you stop the vehicle, um, at the moment there's residual um, voltage in the system from the alternator. Once um, all that voltage has disappeared um, and been used, then um, this whole system will completely turn off. There'll be no lights on it whatsoever. So then you know that when you're, re you're lowering the, um, the voltage in your leisure battery, that um, your starter battery will not, be, uh, will not be drained at all. There we go then, the um, charger is completely turned off now and, um, and the leisure battery is perfectly full. Thanks for watching and uh, if you would like to buy one of these chargers, please do get in touch.